hi guys welcome back to my channel kukwa tibiri to my channel so for today's video we are trying something new which is a seafood mukbang slash story time okay and i want to see how you guys like this type of video if you guys like it thumbs it up of course comment down below that you enjoyed it also do not forget to subscribe if you are new that helped me a whole lot make sure the notification bell is turned on so you can go to reply every single time i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber you already know it's all love it's all love thank you so much for subscribing and remaining a subscriber Subscriber, make sure the notification bell is also turned on. Okay, all right, let's get started. Rude, we gotta make sure this is new, right? Okay, good. So here is what we're gonna be eating, and I already have some sauce in here. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I have some sauce in here, and um, so we have king crab leg, out potato. I always mistake. I think this is clams, right? Mussels, 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 mussels. <laughs> Dungeon crab legs. And yeah, that's it. So I have my drink of the drink here, my zero calorie drink. They need to sponsor me because that's technically all I drink when I'm on a diet. And yeah, today's story time is going to be about an experience I had literally a couple days ago. Okay? couple days ago. And... As you guys can see by the title, I think I'll put that in the title, The Worst Waitress Ever, okay? So, that's my experience, of course. Maybe you guys had worse, more, like, more worse than this, but this is my experience. So, mm, mm, it's real good. So, so as you guys um, can see by my vlog, my um, videos, my sister was traveling she already traveled so she was traveling to go out of the country so we you know we, we decided to just go ahead and you know go eat you know before she goes so we went to you know have a quick dinner at Applebee's because I can see the restaurant I don't mind it was at Applebee's so when we got there everything was good you know sorry guys my um card was full so I had to delete a few files so yeah let's come back the story so i don't remember where i left off so i'm just going to continue to where you know she, we were cracking jokes you know she sat us down everything was good we we're cracking jokes and everything you know she was nice at the beginning so she first started by taking our drinks order she got that down and she started taking our food order after the drink one Everything was good. It did take a while for food to come out. I'm thinking it's because it was a bunch of us who were like, it wasn't that many people too, so it could have been faster, but it was like, um, and mind you, I'm not that customer that complains. Y'all will see why, why, wait. So don't be like, girl, it's a lot of people. It was like about, hmm. Six of us. Mm -hmm. But when we walked in the store, it was five of us. When we walked in the restaurant, sorry, it was five of us. Before the six person came later. So, there weren't that many people, but it was a good number. So good. So there wasn't that many people, but it was a good number. So, she bought the drinks before the food, of course, so by the time my food came, my dream was gone. I was like, can you please get me another one, another drink, because I'm not about to eat my food with nothing to drink. So she was like, okay, and I was like, you guys know, I was like, um, what was it? I think it was that shark, blue shark drink that I got. So, I was like, yeah. Because you guys, if you guys don't know, I love gummy bears. I was like, no alcohol and gummy bear. Mind you, this is a, it was a joke. Like, if she did or didn't put at it, I wouldn't mind. She was like, I got you, okay. I was like, cool. So, she went and got me my drink. Mind you, everything is good so far. I think it's good. 
And then we realized that whenever we need to order more drinks or anything, we had to like wave her down, like go look for her. When whole time she was assisting other tables, she was everywhere but on our table. I, I didn't mind. In my head, I'm like, you should be coming here more because there's more people that typically means more tips. So, anyways, she did what she did. So, once again, I'm not the type of person that complain. So, we're done eating. Tell me why. The first time she came and cleared out the little, the little appetizer plates and stuff like that. Okay, they don't tell eating. Tell me why our dirty dishes are still around. Tell me why. Like I'm, I haven't been asked if I want boxes to pack up the food that we didn't finish eating. Like, huh? Tell me why. So. Um, my husband went and looked for her and was like, can you please get, you know, the box, you know, box and, um, she was okay. She went and grabbed it and brought the bill and we asked for the bill. So she brought the bill. Then, <laughs> so good. Then, my husband put the card in, and the, you know, the little thing where the card goes. And I promise you guys, if my husband had more tips for her, he would have. Anyways, he put in the tips, the, the amount of, couple of dollars that he had. And, tell me why Shorty grabs the thing. It was like, it was less than ten dollars, yeah. Shadi grabs the thing and goes. Then comes back and like and she like literally has the cash in her hand. She was like, Who is this for? She was she, what is it for? What is this for? Something like that. Yeah, what is this for? That's what she asked because I'm the one that replied. I was like, Oh, it's your tip. Like I was like, Oh, it's your tip. And she was like, Oh, she just turned around. I don't even think she even said, Oh, she literally just turned around, I think. But let's just say she said, Oh, and turned around. Left again. Tell me why she comes back. Okay, I got to go back from this one. Because this is the part. Tell me why she comes back to return my husband's you know, card and the receipt. And she put the cash back in there. Mm -mm. I know one plus one is two. And I know she knows that that money was hers because I said it to her. So, um, why did you put it back? And she put it back in a way that you know she put it back so we can take it back. You know what I'm saying? She didn't just, put, like, she literally put it, like, as if, as if it was a receipt. Huh? Anyways, I see that. I'm like, oh, so when my husband opens it, he's like, oh, she didn't take a tip. And I said, oh. But I told her what it was for. So, she just feels entitled like the entitlement like it's too little for her if you work at Applebee's I'm sorry um I understand you guys don't get paid that much but at the end of the day when you work somewhere or you have a job you choose to be there so the sixth person that was with us that came was like you know they shared the tip and I was like I understand but you don't leave them and that that's real disrespectful like some people they haven't tip at all oops some people they haven't tip at all and like people work hard for their money so at least take that so kind me nice me started asking people on the table that got more cash because first i was like nah we never we're gonna take that money back and i was like nah i feel for her at first she was nice so let's just give her some tips i started asking around the sixth person was like yes yeah, she does so she took out the cash she had, put it with the one my husband had, and it was about $30. It was $30, actually. It was $30 on the dot. Um, then, one of our friends was like, whoever's going to hand her this money? 
I'd sell her. That next time she shouldn't do that because it's not okay. That's rude. So the sixth person that was with us is my sister in law. My brother's fiance. She literally took the money and then called the girl over. She was sweeping right, right across from where we were. Waved her down. She came. And it was like, I handed her the money, so the girl grabbed the money. And before my sister-in-law let it go, she, she just looked at her in the eye. It was like, don't ever do that again. And then, like, don't ever leave the money. She said something like, don't ever do it again, or don't ever. Yeah, she said, don't ever, you know, leave the money in there again, or something. Anyways, it was to let her know not to ever do it again. I think she said, not, don't ever do it again, because it was pretty quick. And then... One of, one of our friends was like, no, nah, I told her that it's rude and everything. And then my sister was like, trust me, she caught the eye. She knows what I what I mean. Mm, and then, um, he was just being sarcastic. He was like, I wanted to see more. You should have told her because that's not okay. Like, people work for I was like, bro, you're just doing too much. And then he was like, yeah. She needed to know word by word that isn't okay. And then my sister was like, nah. Trust me, she got it. And I was like, yeah, I think she got it too. Tell me why we're still sitting down. We need more box first. Before we even handed her the money, we needed one more box and a plastic bag to carry the food in. I was like, let's ask her for all we need before giving her the money. So I asked her for one more. I waited for her she came. Once again, she was sweeping the floor right across. She came. She gave me the the box and the plastic bag. We finished bagging, bagging the food. That's when um, my sister-in-law called her and gave her um, the thirty dollars. But I know she got it because the way she literally looked at her dead in the eye. I know she got it. So good and while <clears throat> after uh, we gave her the money she said okay she was polite about that one but with an attitude though for sure she had an attitude because even the first time around when she gave me the box I said thank you she didn't reply let me not forget to mention that yep when she handed me the box and the plastic bag that I asked her before we gave her the money I said thank you she didn't reply but I didn't care. I was like, oh, maybe she might because of the, the tip. She's wishing, but I'm like, are you trying to work here, girl? Like, we ain't gonna be so rude to us. We are nice people, and if we had more, because you know we don't like to ask people for stuff. We didn't feel like asking. Y'all got any change? No. So he gave her what he had on him. So, I think I've just been grateful and took the money. Because even if they share a tip among all of them, that will add some couple dollars on top of the, the tip. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. After we gave her the money, my, after my, my sister-in-law told her, let her do it again. She said, okay. You know, she had her apron with her pockets. She grabbed her phone, looked and was like, and then put it back in her in the pockets of her apron. I was like, I turned around, I told my sister, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. Either she's looking at the town like, yeah, I need to hurry up and go, or she's ready to go home. Or she got a, a bad text message, or whatever, that made her mood change. Because I was like, something had to change, because at the beginning, she was nice. That was the worst virtuous experience I've ever had so far. And I hope I don't have any more because, yo, I used to work at Burger King. I need to do some Burger King story time for you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see those. So, I know what it is to work where you have to serve people, deal with people's food and stuff like that. So, even though Burger King is not like Applebee's or anything, but 
So you gotta deal with people. So you gotta go give them the food and stuff like that. So I know what it is. But once again, I have tools to work there. So I try to always be nice to customers. Unless the customer was like literally being an a hole. I was not rich to that customer. I was not. Mm -mm. Seriously, I wasn't. So, yeah, guys, that was the worst ever. And I hope not to have, not to ever experience something like that because at the end of the day, like I said, I did that job before. That type of job before, not that exact job, but you know what I mean. I've been going to the Applebee's for years, yo. I'll have to go back there, and that's also one of the reasons why I want to make sure I see before I go, cause I'll have to go back there next time. Mmm. And you know this is me. And do something on my food or drink. I'm sorry, like spitting in there. Yep, I think about that. Mm-hmm. People do that. People are crazy. So, I wanted to make sure when we leave there, everything was good. So, yeah, when I started doing the little rolling eye thing, I told my friend, I said, come on, guys, we got to go. We have friends, family. There yeah, was like, guys, come on, we got to go. She just wants us out of here at this point. The way she looked at her phone and I was like, Got a bad text message ready to go home or want us to leave. And we done eating. We paid. I think she's ready for us to go. That's why sometimes I rather hang out at home. Like purchase my food and come eat at home. So, I don't have to deal with nobody's. Because let's say she was in a bad mood or something pissed her off before that. And it just happened to be that stupid out on us. That is still not okay. So, um, I'm not adding up. So, I'm tired at home to avoid anybody's bad mood, mood swing, whatever the person is dealing with. So, yeah. I don't know if she ever go come or cross this YouTube channel, but if she does, or if you're actually anybody that's like serving or hanging food to customers, hosting or whatever you're doing at your job, please, 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 if you get a tip. Just take it. Because some people do not tip at all. And people work hard for their money. So, even if it's a dollar, it's money. If you are from Africa, you guys know how much a dollar can get you. Let me speak for Cameroon, my country. The dollar said, it's at least 500 francs. Un dollar, so one cent, cent francs. Au moins. At this moment, it's a bit more. One dollar is worth a bit more. So you can buy more things. So even if it's a dollar that somebody gives you, take it and, you know, and um, be grateful. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. After this, we're going to close the video because I'm already full. Ever since I do this diet, I get full so far. Definitely comment down below if you ever had a bad waitress experience, slash server experience, however you want to call it. Comment down below.
I would love to interact with you guys. Like, please comment down below. I would love to read you guys' experience with bad waitress slash servers. I would love to interact with you guys in the comment section. So please, 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 please comment down below and let me know. Because I know I'm not the only one that ever had this type of experience. I know. Mm -mm. Some of you guys probably had worse, so I want to hear it. Mm. Alright you guys, that's the end of today's mukbang slash story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs it up. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Please, 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 please. That helps me a lot. Don't forget to also comment down below any type of bad waitress story slash service story that you have. I would love to read it once again so we can interact in the comment section down below. I know that have happened to somebody, maybe even worse, you know. I know you guys have had at least... Couple of you guys have had bad waitress last server, so I want to hear your story down below. Don't forget to let me know down below if you would like to see more mukbang slash story time videos, and I make sure I film those for you guys. And also, my weight loss tea link will be the very first link here under this description box as well. So check it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. That helps me a lot. Make sure the notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Don't forget to also share this video around because somebody else might like it as well. Do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below for your convenience. I always say that so fast. In the description box down below for your convenience. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know, it is all love. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Thank you for coming back and watching my videos. And if you got this far in the video without skipping, you are the real MVP. I truly appreciate you and I love you so, so, so much. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.